Hey, this is Bruce, and we're going to be talking about how to install the Ring Floodlight Cam with a regular extension cord. I'm pretty happy with the results. I really, so far, I really like this thing. It's pretty cool. Let's get into this. So first of all, the Ring Floodlight Cam is 199 USD, approximately, is the retail price. It includes floodlights, a camera, and it's 1080p full HD. It includes night vision it allows a live view an audio mode 140 degree view a motion detector and it has an alarm system let's talk about unboxing the ring floodlight cam so as you can see it uh, comes in this nice little box here and there's the camera there's a sensor below it and if we open this up you'll see that the wires are specifically made for an outside outlet light fixture now here's what comes in the box there's like instructions in here that are the instructions are pretty plain you download an app and then there's like a little scan code that you put in and it automatically connects the to the ring this is the fixture on the outside that you're supposed to connect it to something like that those wires go there but i'm going to connect it to a an extension cord that's going to go into the roof of my garage now after i actually connect this up to test it out and connected it to the app and everything using those simple instructions. I saw that it worked and it was time to get down to business. So I thought that the hardest part would be cutting the extension cord, exposing those wires and everything and connecting everything together. But actually it was very self-explanatory. The black went to the black wire, the white went to the white wire, and then there was a, there was a ground cable. They went to the green cable. It worked just fine. And so that really wasn't the hard part. One note of caution here is to make sure that everything is unplugged before you go twisting these things together. Of course, you just want to put safety first at all times. This wasn't the hard part. The hard part was actually drilling a hole into the side of my house, in the front of my house, to actually put this faceplate on, the mounting, this mounting plate on for the floodlight cam. Here it is right here. I drilled some holes for the screws, I drilled some holes for the wires and made sure everything would fit properly. And, and once all of that was complete, this very difficult part of measuring, I made sure that the wires were long enough to get through that hole and everything. As you can see, uh, had to actually had a little bit of help doing this kind of stuff because there was a bit of measuring involved in making sure everything was lined up properly. This mounting plate is where the ring.com goes to right here. Once you have all of this in place and once the wires go through, it's actually pretty easy. But what you don't want to do is hook this up upside down like I did initially. As you can see, the lights are below and it's supposed to be above so that the motion detector has can see have a clear picture of everything. This is how it's supposed to look when it's all said and done. So here's the wires coming through the wall. And if we look over here, that over there is where the plug is gonna be. So I've gotta run the extension cord all the way over there. Before I got started, what I did was I started, I got these cord clips to neatly, my, my idea was to kind of neatly string these across the roof of the garage. So we put these clips on about every one foot across the cord and they have got these little sticky portions that are going to stick right to the roof and everything and so we we put all of those in there i was just at lowe's like three bucks per case and then we connected these up you want to make sure before you connect this up and make it hot you want to make sure everything is unplugged see there it is it's unplugged once it was unplugged i went ahead and attached the wires and the black went to the black, white to the white, and ground to the ground. Before I put the electrical tape on there, I made sure it worked one last time by plugging it in. Then you want to make sure you have electrical tape on the wires once everything is good. We plugged it up once everything was tested, everything was good. Now we're ready to turn it on. And we have to make sure that everything is good as far as the wireless. This is something you want to check before you wire everything up before everything is in its final stage. You want to make sure the wireless actually reaches the 
the ring.com luckily for us it works just great the wireless was able to reach out all the way to the outside of the garage so we did a final test now the sounds you're hearing are coming from my wife's phone it was pretty windy outside we wanted to see what it sounded like So she could hear me Can outside, hear but me? it was pretty dim. I would say the the audio portion of it is not great, but it's better than nothing. That is so creepy. Baby, it's, that's got to be louder. The last feature that we wanted to test was the siren, the wind. and it works really good, actually. That's it for the ring.com. It actually works really great. Five stars from me. I highly recommend it. If you are going to get any kind of ring products, only thing I would say is take precautions. There's a multi-factor authentication portion of it that you should set up to make sure that nobody can hack into your system. Make sure if you using, uh, make sure you use a secure Wi-Fi and with a good password and all that kind of stuff that you're supposed to do. And that's it for this one. See you on the next one.